Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so today I was thinking I want to make a video, but it's really nice outside. It's a little dirty in my room. I'm not really feeling it. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Let me just take this and this because talking is important. But we're just going to go outside real quick. I'm going to try something new out there. See you out there in a second. Okay, so outside and the ultimate setup's about to go down. We've made it outside, officially. It's actually really nice outside, and I'm not gonna lie, um, outside, studio, outside studio, pretty legit. So, for today, I have my Nexus 6P, and we're gonna play a little Clash Royale because this game is kinda sick, and I've been really enjoying it lately, and I haven't uploaded in, I wanna say, about two weeks. Now, um, quick thing, those two weeks were not spent unwisely. I had a German exchange student here, he was cool, his name was Michael, he was legit. But I didn't have a lot of time to make videos, but now we're back. So, here we are. Supercell, Clash Royale. Let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. Okay, so this video is actually going to be episode number one of our training camp series. Now, my idea for, the, meh, my idea for this series is actually to almost give you guys helpful tips on the whole surrounding theme of Clash Royale because I feel like that could be helpful for you guys and especially just kind of give you my tips and what I've learned on my way all the way up to 1400 trophies and I'm still kind of learning to get higher and higher my trophies and of course that comes with an exercise in patience now that is probably my key like theme of this entire series is patience because I'm a free to play player and that's what I'm kind of um uh, that's what I'm kind of preaching to you guys from my point of view because I don't spend a lot of money. I don't spend any money on gems because, one, I just don't really have the money to invest into that. And I just kind of like playing for fun for free and stuff like that. So, let's get back into the actual tips and the gameplay. Okay, so today I actually want to talk about gold. So, here we are on my main screen. I'm about 1,308 trophies now. I actually got up to all the way to 1,467 trophies, or 1,467, which actually sounds a little bit better. But I've been doing pretty well. I've been really enjoying this. But one thing that I've been starting to lack is actually gold. And that's what I want to talk about. Gold. So right now I have about 2,990, and I'm actually saving a lot. Sorry, bug. Ugh, outdoors. <laughs> um... So, I've been saving a lot right here. As you can see, I have a lot of upgrades that I'm saving for. I just kind of upgrade my entire deck to level 7 at the same time. Well, all my units are troops that are already level 6 all at once. But that's just kind of what I'm doing. But, as you can see, these things cost a 1000 per upgrade. And that's actually a lot now. So, I don't have that kind of money to spend like crazy. So, something you want to make sure that you're doing. Don't upgrade everything that you can upgrade. That is key point number one. Because as you can see, I have all these things that I could just upgrade for fun, but I don't use nearly any of them. So, for example, this um, zap spell, you could say. I honestly don't use that much, and I could upgrade it a lot because I have 64 of them just sitting there. And I could upgrade and go crazy, but I end up spending a ton of my gold, and then it end up making it that much harder to upgrade my current deck. So... Spend your gold wisely on the deck and cards that you use the most. Don't just upgrade to upgrade. Upgrade purposefully because I feel like that is one of the most important things, especially with gold, because it's really the main economy of the entire game. Now, I do have an ex exception when spending gold, and that's when we go over here to the cards. Now, I do want to emphasis emphasize a huge uh, sort of caution for you guys. Now, 
here they're gonna have epics available for you and some of them you may not even have well i will say this if it's the prince i say spend away go crazy at least buy one because it's really good to have in your deck and they're really 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 good cards to have when you're really starting out in the very beginning but as you kind of move on i haven't i found i haven't really used the prince but that's kind of a different topic entirely but right here you can actually spend your gold on upgrading now i would say if you just want to buy one go for it let's say you buy one night boom there's no one but it will increase in price as you continue to buy more and more and you can only buy so many so you can't really go all out so honestly i wouldn't recommend buying these because a lot of these will just pop up in chests as you kind of play along unless it's that special unit that's just like dominating with but you can't find any more at all then i would say yes but i'd really just save your money on these because i really don't think it's worth it like i bought a goblin the goblin what is it uh, the goblin bomb goblin barrel I bought one but I ended up getting one just a little bit later so I would just it's patience if you don't want to spend your gold I would recommend saving it because it's really 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 important for later on so really gold is just that main economy that you're gonna get now there are a couple sources that you can actually get gold from that's gonna be your chests. now I'm not going to be going through the store here and buying a bunch of gold because that's just not how I play personally. And um, I really just, you just really want to focus on getting your gold from these chests. Now, being efficient with your chests and timing is really important. So this is going to help kind of increase the amount of gold that you're actually getting. So free open chests, you're going to be getting a lot of these and it'll stack up to two at a time while you're offline. So I can go ahead and open my chest, get a couple of units. I'm only getting 40 gold but it's really nice to have it's gonna be a little bit random but about 47 gold for me at uh crown castle level six and that's pretty good and you're also gonna be able to get me your crown chest so whenever you have this crown chest available to get 10 crowns to fill up you get that as fast as possible so you can continue that process going at the time and 24 hours going further down so you can get more gold also getting from these guys here so i just opened this just by accident not gonna lie just before this but if you time this correctly, so right before I go to bed, I usually try to get this eight hour chest going because I like to keep these three hour ones going on during the day and then the eight hour while I'm sleeping because it's gonna take the longest and honestly, why not? But guys, that's really my key gold tips, but I really do hope you find these little training camp videos helpful. I can definitely wanna make more in the future. If you have any uh, tips, anything you really wanna hear about in these training camp videos, make sure to go throw them down below in the comments. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and slap that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video at all, please go ahead and slap a thumbs up, a like on that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I really do hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.